Welcome to this week's episode. My name's Flossie, and this is my tiny home, Siren. Get yourself somewhere comfortable. Tap into your imagination. If you haven't guessed already, I feel like my channel is equally about the ocean as it is vans and nomadic life and van life and stuff. I think it's funny. Here I am again at the ocean. <laughs> Ta-da, there's sunset somewhere in this vicinity. <laughs> That's fascinating. Whoa, whoa. There's the ocean. It's still early morning. And I'm very excited because today I'm going for a pedal. Beautiful Arbutus tree in the sun. Oh. <sighs> Yay. I'm feeling quite sleepy. It's a coffee shop down the road, so I think I'll go get a drink before we start thinking about heading to the ocean. Yay. It's so nice to be out here with the van, to be able to take my little house places that make adventure accessible. I've got my folding kayak with me. I'm gonna go kayaking with a friend along the shoreline. Yesterday I was in the ocean, today I'm on the ocean. I had a bit of a rough sleep last night, but you know what? Fresh air, salt water, and exercise, and a hot drink will make it all better. I think it's funny. Here I am again at the ocean. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I know, I know. Anxiety and sorrow and grief and loneliness and pain. Somebody's been fishing. Often physical as well as emotional, grip our lives and preoccupy our attention. I know our societal conversation is so loaded down with fear, looming catastrophe, and the dysfunction of the institutions and governments. The air can be full of hatred sitting down like a dirty fog. How can we possibly imagine our bodies ablaze with happiness? What's that floaty thing? There is a bit of a housing crisis. We all know that sometimes some of these Gulf Islands, housing is expensive. So we're heading over to here to like look at the 21st century, is it 21st century, 22nd century? I don't know. New housing options. Ta -da! Does it feel remote? Can we feel blessed, really? I think it's amazing when people build stuff like this. It's even got a little flag and a tire at the front. This is freaking beautiful. <sighs> right, we made it. This thing is amazing. What? There's like a fire pit, a chimney hole. Beautiful window. Wow. 
all those wind chimes are making pretty noises. Oh my god, there's so much here. There is so much. It's even more here. Welcome to the seahorse. I'd love to know what you think of the camp. Jot a note down in this journal to help me write the book I've always needed to write. My name is Chris and I proudly built this with my own two hands. It's for everyone. Let's honor this in the spaces and shelters of all for peace. That's so cute. Dude, let's come have a fire here. There's a fucking bench. And there's, there's another fire pit over places. here too. This one's like, they're so Aww. protected says give thanks and there's friggin kindling and it's probably pretty dry too with this roof oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yay this is gorgeous look at this oh my gosh this is exactly what i wanted to come and have a boat up here at night and have a fire for the wood and the fire okay or drive to that little spot with wood. Let's do it. Look at this gorgeous building. Uh, Waterfront property. Yep. Yeah. Came here with my grandson and their sense of wonder was neat to see. Words like wow and incredible, just love the concept. As a Kiwi from New Zealand, oh, there's other Kiwis here. The seahorse is lovely, we had lunch here. What a beautiful gift you've built here, generously offered, open-handed to the community. This is evident that this place, the sound of the waves, so many people have sat here with gratitude. Aww. Okay, find a page and write something. Where is an empty page? This note. What's today? Everyone deserves a roof over their head, if but for a moment. I agree. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I think I'm gonna need to wade out to get my boat back in the water. Cause the tide is going out and it's a bit rocky. Oh, cold feet, cold feet, cold feet. <sighs> because this piece of driftwood looks like a seahorse's head.
was fun. Is that my van? Can you see my van from here? There's Siren up on the cliff. Barely see her through the trees. Oh no, I'm gonna run aground. Oh good, I'm gonna run aground. Ah. Okay, now we gotta get down this hill very carefully. It's surprising it's warming. I mean, not that yeah. like fires are warming, but. <laughs> yes. For such Considering a small it's little like fire, zero it's like, degrees yeah, outside is, I think, the yeah. contrast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's hard to like will oneself to brave the walk back when yeah. this fire is so nice. Yeah, I mean, when I was. You gotta see, I just gotta know. Like, you could have a little. <laughs> <laughs> take if you all would take a like a, a can or some like a piece of trash with yeah, you because sure. yes. there's a ton of like crushed cans and stuff. Uh -huh. This is all out of focus and it looks really cool. <sighs> okay, but I legit need to go see if I can. As humans, since the day one of our presence on Earth, we became creators, nurturers, caretakers. We started writing our story, metaphorically and literally too, and it is that that will always be unique to us. Today's adventure day. I really wanted to show you the glamorous place that I slept last night after two of the campgrounds that I went to were both closed for the season because some stupid places just go, oh, we're gonna only open for summer. Um, anyway. So I parked somewhere else. Let me show you. It's the side of the road gravel lot. At least the sun's coming in. I always like to try and make sure that if I'm parking urban, that I have one side that looks like this. Then I don't have people parking up next to me. So that's nice. And there's like football or some sort of sports field over there. Hooray! And a busy, busy road. I'm a little sleepy, but it was really quiet in the middle of the night, so it wasn't so bad. Anyway, time to get the van ready for driving. <laughs> Sorry, time to get ready the van for driving. Hey! What a pretty name for a boat. Oh, what's he got in his mouth? He's got something in his mouth. Oh, sorry to scare you, little guys. He's beautiful. This is the closest I've ever been to one. This is so fun. I'm really enjoying this. Not pedaling, not hurting my shoulder. We're gonna go, there's a spit out here. I'm gonna go around the spit because I want to go over there and see the mountain range that's just on the other side of the spit. Now there is a question for all of us. What makes us feel alive? 
And do we really do the things that make us feel so? There's the Olympic Mountains. Is it Olympic Peninsula and Olympic Mountains? Yeah, the Olympic Mountains are on the Olympic Peninsula. Ooh, look how close we are to the bottom. Right? Woo! We're going real fast. <laughs> yeah. Look at all this beautiful kelp. Oh my gosh, this would be amazing to dive through. Then nobody can tell you to fuck off because the ocean is public for the most part. That one's got such a long tail. Oh, a little cute little beach. Just the coast is just beautiful. The thing I love about BC is where the forest meets the water. It's just this amazing feeling of earth and land coming together. magical about being on the water I think you've said that like 10 times <laughs> I do I say it every time because it the reason why is because it just makes my brain chatter just go quiet like I don't have any internal dialogue while I'm out here which is fucking lovely or oh, she's that's a big one Oop, there he goes where'd you go bud there's movement there. That's funny, he was just like breathing on top of the water trying to keep up with us. <laughs> where'd he go, where'd he go? It's so cool. Yeah, you can see the current. Oh, cause it's getting real fucking chill out. Okay, do we have? We're gonna potentially. Nope, we made it. Just made it. Cool. Mmm, smells like sea otters. Ooh, lovely. <laughs> smells stinky. You have a lot to say there, buddy. Awesome little boat. What's down there? It's the harbor. Can I pass you the Because one day we won't be able to live as we can now. It'd be too late to pity what we could have done, but haven't. How we could have lived, but didn't. It doesn't even look like November. I simply want to bring your awareness to where my experience has brought me. Uh, 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 crikey! Oh, crikey! <laughs> I want you to pause a while, the same way I have here. reflect back on how much my life is aligned with my values, my dreams, my wants. <laughs> how much does it make you feel alive in this precise moment? Does it at all? And if not quite, do you want to do something about it? Okay. 
there's always something, even if small. That we can do at any point to realign our life with the life we want to have. That's fascinating. Have you ever seen one? No, I wouldn't be very enthused about it. <laughs> so much kelp, it's so good. Tree hair. When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to nurture to explore, to adventure, to love. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, it's like literally almost five o'clock. <laughs> That's amazing. Sunshine around the corner, you can't see the wood for the trees. I think I'm gonna shave. <laughs> yeah, I should have brought some shaving cream or something. <laughs> oh, here's the sunshine. <laughs> the mystery of the human existence. Lies not in just staying alive. but in finding something to live for. Oh my gosh, that would have been exciting. Hi little seal, what are you fishing? Yeah. Being alive is not a miracle. Feeling alive is. I've been watching the whirlpools in the water around this little rock here. It just whirlpools back and forth. There it is. Being out on the water was refreshing and so good that we could get pedal, pedal, kayaks because it saved my shoulder so much. I was really relieved and really grateful. Going for a walk along the coastline, we saw sea lions and seals and a whale. Like, I just feel super grateful. Today just felt like a really light day for my heart. Um, and I've kind of needed one of those re late recently. <laughs> I had such an amazing day. It was nice to be doing stuff with friends. It was worth it sleeping in a car park lot night, last night and on the side of the road tonight. I love hearing from you, I read every comment, know that I'm here and seeing what you write and appreciating you. Good night everybody, if you enjoyed this episode please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already and hit the notification bell as I post new videos every week on the Wednesday. Have a good night, folks. See you later.